Ahoy and welcome. Today we're going to be doing some Trigon Space Story. Don't really know that much about this game other than that's in space. Uh, the developers have been kind enough to provide me a key of this game. So we're going to do a live review of it. Let's see what it's like. Let's start with the tutorial because I have no idea what we're doing here. completed the tutorial. Right, cool. Seems simple enough. I think anyone who's played FTL will probably be able to play this game quite easily. Or well, not easily, but they'll they'll know what they're doing. Looks like our only option is humans. I wonder if this starting crew is like just because of the ship or because of like there's other ships here, isn't there? Looks like there's a lot of ships actually. Badly worn exterior, peeling paint, and the smell of burnt wiring and cheap oil. These words describe the ship in a nutshell. This model was created during the times of major human expansion into space. Cheap repair parts, easy and high quality assembly became the winning arguments for humanity's fast evolution, who showed exceptional adaptability to harsh conditions. Well, looks like that's the one we're going for then. After shaking up another Venator patrol, you are trying to understand what's going on. The local communication hub makes it clear that there's a bounty on your head. It would be a good idea to find a safe place until dust settles. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows best how to go to ground. Uh, something's up. So that's where we need to be heading, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this green one's saying it's like the fastest route. But that's going through one of these fights, which it said we have to be careful of. Looks like we can skirt round it, we should be fine. An enemy ship is heading our way. You try to hail them and talk them out of the fight, but the crew doesn't care. Prepare for action. Oh god, what is that ship? That looks very well equipped. Uh, right, so we're going to go straight for the shields with that. Uh, and the weapons with that. No, oh, that's our rockets, isn't it? So no. I want to turn that off for now point in the armory module. Should be able to speed that up a bit. Yeah. Let's try to take the shields out first. I did not put that on auto fire, did I? Right, now we now we rocket their guns. There we go. Nice and simple. You destroy the enemy ship, you will destroy everyone who gets in your way. Okay, simple enough. What what does that mean by pulsar? Is that just like stuff that's going on in that area? We'll go there anyway. Let's let's see what's going on. Receive a request from a courier job in the system. The package doesn't look big. And it needs to be delivered somewhere nearby. Might want to get the details. Okay. 
Good day to you, Salkai. We need the ashes of our colony's mayor to be delivered to his homeland. Can you manage that? We think your ship is suitable for such a mission. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. I thought you would give up a job like a typical vermin. I'm glad you're not like that. Have a safe flight. Okay, we've got a delivery. Why are we actually meant to take that? Oh, it's back to there. That's about where we came from. Going round in circles then, apparently. <laughs> uh, you received an SOS call from the Raki on a shared channel. Sounds suspicious. You should probably check it out. When you arrive at the location, you see a rather different picture from what you expected. There's no rules fighting going on in the system. Organised by the Raki. Seems that the signal was intended to draw attention. Enjoy the fights. On the Raki planet, no rules fighting is like a national holiday. All corners are crammed with locals offering people to enjoy different competitions. Surprisingly enough, aside from the competitions of the strength, the Raki enjoy many other disciplines. Enjoy the traditional fights. Wrecking No Rules Fighting is one of the most breathtaking spectacles in the galaxy. You enjoy the show and pick up a few tricks for your crew that might be useful in the future. Oh, nice. Got a bit of XP. You're contacted by Turticons in the system the Atari has sent you to. They declare that Atari ashes belong to them and demand you hand it over. Send the ashes to the Turticons without asking any questions. After a couple of minutes, you discover that the ashes contained contraband that the Atari had smuggled through you. Over your frustration, quickly turns to joy as the Turticons share their technology with you. Oh, okay. A heavy plasma cannon. Oh, and we got level ups as well. Right, oh, wait, no, he's the captain, isn't he? So body armor. I think body armor again, like, it's a useful one, isn't it? Lucky. Yes, we'll have that. And let's manage the ship. How many have we got then? 71. We'll chuck a bit more shield. Unlocked it. What? System not installed. But we did just unlock drones. We may have to get them installed somewhere. Okay, let's go back that way. You see an unmanned Venator ship and hear the sound of combat protocols being activated. Uh-oh. Right, so we've got the new new guns now, haven't we? So, straight away on the shields, auto fire mode is on. Wait, can we not? That needs free to power up? Oh, wow, but that's powerful. Right, how do we turn this off? Like, that is insanely powerful. Okay, that just went invisible. Uh, let's move you from engines and get you on shields. Why is it missing? Stop missing! There we go. Wow, that hits hard. That gun is insane. Holy shit. You should try the ship and grab everything you can. So although it seems to miss a lot, it definitely hits hard. How much was it to get more energy? 90. We'd also need the extra slot as well, wouldn't we? Okay, simple enough.
Greetings, Selkai. I trade in this system to feed up our colony. I offer good exchange rate for resources. Okay. How do we actually access the menu? Oh, there. We've got the bar, we've got trade, and we've got shipyard. Oh, does that mean we can upgrade for cash here? We can. We've also got different modules here. We're buying the drone module. Then we'll also get that and that. No, we don't have enough for that. Go for that then. So that's what we need for the drone, so we need to keep that. I'm actually thinking let's get rid of the rockets. So we'll sell that. And we'll sell the rockets with it. We're going to need fuel. And we're going to need food as well, aren't we? Yeah. I don't know whether it's worth buying like that much food. We'll go with that. Okay. Oh, we can also get more people. I didn't know that. Oh, we probably should have spent some money on more people, shouldn't we? Ah, well. Oh, we need another point for the drone control module as well. We're definitely going to have to get that upgraded as soon as we can. Let's head over to there. On your way to the asteroid belt, it becomes clear that there is something wrong here. The stations are silent, no ships in view. You notice strange emissions on your sensors that emanate from a waste recycling module. Send an experienced engineer to examine the place. The engineer walks through the station along his technical tunnels, describing to you the strange triangles on the wall. Later he finds a Terticon in an irradiated location and brings it on board. The asteroid turned out to be a slaughterhouse. The answers are hidden inside Lucky Ticket. According to the signs on its body, its number is 213114. It'd be hard to turn it on, half of its brains has burnt out. You need to find someone who can restart it, despite the ban. It would be nice to find a Terticon that's already reconsidered its life. Looks like you need to go to a pirate station. There's no other place where you'll find a Terticon which can turn another robot on for money. Okay. So where's that? Oh, down here. So. What's that? Upon arriving in the system, you see an unmanned Venator ship. Ah, okay. Wait, what? EMP? I can't use any of my weapons. Uh, there we go. Stop missing. That weapon is so powerful. Oh, did we just get another weapon? Plasma turret. We'll add it. It's good at shield damage. That EMP'd out my hyperdrive, I couldn't actually move then. Nothing happening there? Okay. If 
pirate station. They're usually disguised as being uninhabited. If it hadn't been for your old connections, you would have had to look for it much longer. Approaching the station, you begin to feel a sense of adventure. The station is in chaos. Gambling, forbidden pleasures, illegal goods. Somewhere in the mess must be the Turkiton hacker you're looking for. But where to begin your search? Buy a lottery ticket. Because it, it said about the lottery tickets, didn't it? Bang a lottery ticket, you don't exactly expect to win anything. And that's just what happens. Why didn't you think of buying one in the first place? At the address, you find a small workshop of an old Turticon. He immediately figures out why you're here and demands a pretty penny for the lucky ticket. Check the price with your engineer. The engineer is shocked at the price. He raises some good arguments and proves that the repairs could be done much cheaper. The Turkiton reluctantly agrees and offers to help for next to nothing. Lucky ticket bounces back. Tells you about the events at the station. Two Veneta ships enslaved almost everyone there. Anyone who resisted was killed on sight. The lucky guy regrets having committed suicide. The very thought that it feels regret about a successful suicide sounds odd. However, it didn't want to lose its memory unit, so it chose to burn itself in the recycling module where no one was likely to stick their nose in. Popo, what a name. Nice, so we have this guy now. Good at repairs. Currently got him there. He's probably better where he is, so we'll just have this guy running around for repairs then. So that's where we need to get to next. Ah, uh, let's go see what our skull is. We're probably going to die here. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Upon arriving in the system, you see an unmatched Veneta ship. Uh, unmanned, even. You hear the sound of combat. Okay. So straight away, we're just going to go straight in with that. Yeah, that... See, we can't actually do any of those. But we don't need to when that thing hits so hard. <laughs> that weapon is so powerful. Nice. Oh, actually, before we do, have we got enough scrap to... We need to upgrade that, wouldn't we? A hundred. Okay. And it's 90 for that, so we need more scrap for that. Oh! We've got another ship coming out of here because we upgraded her. Wait, what? Why can I not? Oh, yeah, we, we don't have the power. Right, I'm going to drop the hyperdrive then. I'm going to take the risk. So, auto fire to there. Auto fire to there. That definitely seems powerful. So we need to get one more power there. Oh, we've got it now. There we go. So now we can actually... Wait, what? Oh yeah, drop one on there. There we go. That actually seems like it might be slightly more powerful. Oh, well, that does two shots, doesn't it? Fair enough. Right. Let's go see what this big boy's like. Upon arriving in the system, you see a huge, racky ship. Seems to be guarding the gates of the sector. You gather your thoughts and turn on the transmitter to reach an agreement with their captain. In response, there is only silence. The giant ship readies for action. Battle is inevitable. Okay, so we've got the weapon systems are there. And we've got the shield systems with that one. Let's go. Oh, I did not put auto fire on. Oh, they're, they're on our ship. Oh, fuck.
Uh, have they just teleported our men to their ship? I've just lost them. I've actually just lost them. They teleported my crew onto their ship. Well, I'm now I'm now fucked. That that was my engineer and my. I, what the fuck? I don't know what to do now. Like, that's just completely messed up. Like, my entire system's up. I did not... I did not expect something like that happening. Right, we're going to get repaired up. I don't even know if this guy can heal up. No, I don't think he can. We're just going to get him straight on weapons then. Okay. Let's just carry on. Let's hope we can get more people. Venators are right behind you. It's going to be a tough fight. Destroy class ship greets you. Blah, blah, blah. In short, Captain, I don't give two brass nuts about the rules. I'll finish you off quickly. Claim a reward, and we are even. It will also give us a chance to see how your pilot's combat skills are. No idea why the hell the new rain wants you. I'm not going to get involved in, bu in their business. Prepare for battle. Why is that not working? Am I doing it too early? Probably doing it too early. Wait, he's dead. all going downhill can he be repaired if he's a robot yes okay right wait is he repairing the robot no he's not repairing the robot is he? he's just repairing the room I have no idea what we're supposed to do now if we've literally only got the one member of crew left my med bay was turned off wasn't it that's why it wouldn't fucking heal him my med bay was turned off and there's no way to, like, drag him into there and get, like, it's too late, isn't it? <laughs> I have just completely ruined this entire playthrough, hasn't I? For fuck's sake. Yeah, I think I think that's that's it. We've, we've just completely screwed ourselves. Right, we're going to get that, that charge going. And we'll... I don't know. We're going to have to see if we can get to a station and see if we can get some more men. Uh, I have no idea where there is a station. I've not got any coming up. This, this could be a very short playthrough. A strange man approaches you at one of the pirate stations. He suggests that you and your crew try some alternative treatments. When you ask him about the legal nature of these remedies, he simply looks the other way. No. There's only one person on my crew. I'm not fucking risking it to drugs. <laughs> right, let's head over to that one. Flying through an action-packed system, you discover an old ship in poor condition, but you don't see any raiders in the vicinity. The ship heals you. Who are you? Get the hell out of here if you want to live. My name is Popo, and this is my ship. The vanguard of the Grand Fleet of the most beautiful lady in the universe. And wait for my friends, children of Trigon, just like me. Try knocking some sense into Popo. What kind of name is that anyway? But he flatly refuses to talk to you and attacks you. Let's take the weapons out as soon as we can.
<laughs> We're just getting smashed here. Well then. That was short lived. And then you straight back to the beginning going again, aren't you? So it's very roguelike in a way. Is the map still the same? No, so the map's different as well. I like that. I can see me definitely coming back and playing this game a bit more as well. Uh, I think I am going to end it there though. After the many mistakes that I made. Which were almost shameful. <laughs> what an interesting game. I, I honestly really like that. It does feel like, uh, like I said earlier, like faster than light. But more fleshed out. I can see me enjoying this a lot to be honest. Because I... I played the hell out of Fast and Light. So yeah. Thank you everyone who's been chilling and watching for this. I'd highly recommend going looking at this. You guys have been amazing. And I've been the captain. I'll see you all on the horizon. <laughs>